slingshot. Dave, I can see you're really upset. Take a stress pill and think things over. Slingshot. Your mom's favorite toy? You don't know what that means. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I know. It just sounded dirty. It's a film starring Casey Affleck, Lawrence Fishburne, Emily Beecham, and Tomer Capone. Who? Frenchie from The Boys. It's a claustrophobic psychological thriller that follows a crew of three as they race to Jupiter to slingshot around it to catapult them to Saturn's moon, Titan. They hibernate in 90-day stints using drugs that appear to be causing sickness, paranoia, and hallucinations. Members of the crew start to lose their grip on reality and hijinks ensue. Hijinks? Really? You know, it's actually kind of hard to say anything about the plot beyond that without giving away key details. First, the positives. It's a top-notch cast and there's very little CGI, fully practical sets. Not much happens outside of the ship, mostly just flashbacks, which enhances the feeling of claustrophobia for the audience as well as the crew. It's also nice to see something relatively original as opposed to the relentless IP mining Hollywood has been abusing us with lately. On the negative side, having a top-notch cast doesn't always guarantee that things are going to go well. Specifically, I mean Casey Affleck himself. Don't get me wrong, I know he's talented, he's got an Oscar, but he just comes off as incredibly flat here. Lifeless. The chemistry with his love interest was completely non-existent and I almost felt like he was stoned through most of the picture. It was enough to really drag down everything else and damage the tension the director was trying to build. It took me out of the story to be honest. It also kind of makes it a lot harder to connect, empathize, and root for him too. Now there are some components of the plot that you can see coming a mile away and there's some that you can't. And there's also some breadcrumbs that they leave along the way that they never explain or pay off, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The trope of showing the audience something to signal that this means something and it will be relevant later, pay attention, it's kind of getting old and predictable, and it's kind of nice to be reminded that sometimes a thing is just a thing, just like in real life. Oh, there's this unintentionally amusing flashback scene where the astronaut candidates are in a lecture hall watching a video of what the mission is about, but it's not something you'd be showing too candidates. They'd already know this stuff. It was clearly exposition directed at the audience. Reminded me of the infamous video in Jurassic Park on how they made the dinosaurs. Right you are, Doge. Some have likened Slingshot to an episode of Black Mirror, but I really don't feel like it reaches that level, unfortunately. You know, I've been trying to come up with a unique rating system for movie reviews. Stars are kind of vague and overused. Uh, these are probably trademarked. So I'm going to try this rating system. I don't know if we're going to stick with it or not, but let's give it a try. So on a scale of Lord of the Rings to The Acolyte. <laughs> I just can't see Acolyte without laughing anymore. Slingshot is about as mid as it gets on this scale. Definitely a streamer. Probably would never see it again. It could have been more, but it wasn't. Did you see Slingshot? Did you even know this movie even existed? Let us know in the comments and stay fresh, cheese bags.